Let's get out those Valentine's buttons and make some canvas art. Hello friends, May Flom here. For this project, I'm working with a six by six canvas board. You could use wood, you could use a wrapped canvas, you could use a piece of MDF like in a photo frame and make like a shadow box. Lots and lots of options here, no wrong answer just creative fun. So to get started, I'm gathering all of my buttons and I'm using PPA, which is an archival clear drying glue. So I know that it will work well for my buttons, but I'm also just making sure as far as the surface goes, I'm good with the color and texture. If you wanted to paint and allow that paint to dry first, you certainly can. I'm drawing my shape, in this case, a heart for Valentine's and filling it in with this adhesive. And remember, it's going to dry clear, so I don't have to worry about excess. Now I have gathered an assortment of solid sew through buttons as well as some dress it up Valentine's buttons and some Jesse James beads, little pink beads. My first layer, I am doing the sew through buttons in pinks and reds and I'm just filling in from the bottom and then through the middle out to the sides knowing that I'm not going to get all the way to the edges and I also know it's not going to be perfect because this is a bigger button size, close, oh, not quite an inch, but maybe three quarters of an inch. So because it's a bigger button size, I'm not going to be able to get those little tiny details and that's fine. I am going to go back over with some more adhesive and just kind of drizzle some over the top because for a project like this, what the real key is to really get it layered and really get a lot of different layers and details of buttons going down so that there are no blank spaces. And I like to start with the plain buttons first because they make a good base layer. And also if some parts of them are covered, it's not going to be problematic to me. I'm not going to have issue with some of these buttons having just a little bit of their area covered, even the entire button covered, depending on what I'm doing. Now I'm just going in with different Valentine buttons. I'll get some micro hearts out. I'll get some beads out. And I'm just filling in, especially along the edges, the space to get my heart shape. And this is something you can do as many layers as you want. You can take your time. And the glue is staying wet. The glue stays wet for at least an hour, um, workable at least half an hour. So that means that I can just sit here and really play and enjoy the process of finding the little colors and textures and bits and pieces of both Jesse James beads and dress it up buttons that I would like for my project. Now if I have shank buttons and the shank does not work, meaning uh, it doesn't work for me to try to place the shank down between the buttons to secure, I just trim it off like I just did with our glittery dragonfly friend and set it down. Now I didn't talk about, but I did stamp there in black. I used a black stays on ink, which is a permanent ink to stamp that little love stamp. That's just a very old stamp that I've had for 20 plus years. And the reason I did that first was I, it's just easier. If you're going to be stamping in things, it's easier if you do it before all those buttons and textures are on. Now, as far as how long, how much, this is totally personal preference. How many details do you want? How many layers do you want? How much time do you want to spend? This is a great craft to bring in friends that maybe don't craft yet or have an interest but are intimidated. This is a great project for them, for older kids, for teenagers. And I'm doing Valentine's, but you absolutely can alter this to be different themes, different sizes. You could fill the whole space. You could make a rainbow. The options, as I always say to you guys, are as endless as your imagination. There are so many things we can do. And if you want to add a little sparkle or a little detail, you can always take, this is glitter glue. And I'm just making kind of a very rough, sketchy outline around. Glitter glue is very forgiving. You can always wipe it off. You can always smear it around. But I'm just making kind of an edge. You could also use paint. You could use pen. And I'm also, while everything is wet, just taking a tiny sprinkle of white iridescent glitter and sprinkling it over because that's just going to add sparkle, shine, detail, and fun to this whole project. And I just think it's really fun. When it's all dry, the excess will shake off and some of it will seem to be still attached as if by magic. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to the Dress It Up YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. We'll see you next time.